Mitsubishi electric servo amplifiers include a display screen for alarms and warnings when issues occur during operation. If an alarm or warning appears on the display screen, turn off the servo on signal and shut off the power. Then follow the troubleshooting procedures described in the manual. MR Configurator 2 can be used to find out the causes of alarms and warnings. To find out the details of each alarm, select Diagnosis from the menu bar and then select Alarm Display. This information is also available from MR Configurator 2 Help under Help. Warnings will be cleared automatically once the cause has been resolved. After resolving the cause, alarms are cleared by either performing an alarm reset or a CPU reset or by turning the power off and on again. I will now describe some example alarms and their troubleshooting procedures. The alarm with an alarm code of 20.1 is the encoder normal communication receive data error 1 alarm. This alarm is caused by environmental factors such as noise. Noise can affect various electronic devices and can be generated from a wide range of sources. The intrusion of external noise can cause incorrect servo amplifier operation. Noise generated by the servo amplifier can also cause other equipment to operate incorrectly. Also, some noise generated by peripheral equipment will not affect servo amplifiers. When alarm 20.1 occurs, you must find and resolve the cause of the noise. The most common noise problem is due to the bundling of servo amplifier input and output wires with signal wires. Try running these wires separate from each other. If equipment near the servo amplifier generates significant noise, try installing a surge protector for this equipment to reduce the noise generated. If noise generated by the servo amplifier is causing issues, install a noise filter into the servo amplifier power circuit. In this training, you will learn how to install a radio noise filter and a line noise filter. Use either of the two filters that is applicable to the situation when resolving actual noise issues. The FRBIF radio noise filter reduces noise generated by the servo amplifier power supply. Wiring must be as short as possible. The filter must also be grounded. When using the FRBIF with a single phase power supply, make sure unused wires are properly insulated. The FRBSF01 line noise filter reduces radio noise generated from the servo amplifier power supply and output circuits. This filter can be installed to the servo amplifier main circuit and servo motor power supply wiring. All wires must pass through noise filters in the same direction and frequency. Using more filters for main circuit wiring increases the noise-reducing effect, but usually four filters are used. Placing filters close to the servo amplifier improves the noise-reducing effect. The alarm with an alarm code of 25.1 is the servo motor encoder, absolute position erased alarm. This alarm occurs when the battery has reached the end of its service life. Absolute position information will be lost once the battery has reached the end of its service life. 
Replace the batteries periodically before they completely run out to prevent having to reset absolute positions. I will now describe the procedure to reset absolute position information if lost. First, replace the battery. Then, perform the return to origin position process. Turn on the power to the servo amplifier and make sure the alarm has been cleared. Use jog operation to return to the origin position of the workpiece. Input the clear signal into the servo amplifier. Input of the clear signal tells the servo amplifier that the current position is the origin position. Use a programmable controller output or external switch to input the clear signal. Besides noise, harmonics and leakage current can also negatively affect servo systems. Alarm code 50.1 is the thermal overload error 1 during operation alarm. This alarm occurs when cables are disconnected or scrap material is jamming equipment. Objects can jam moving parts of equipment, causing them not to move correctly. Excessive current may then be output to try and move the part normally, which causes excessive load and triggers this alarm. If this happens, check mechanical parts carefully. If this alarm occurs when there are no mechanical issues, wiring may be disconnected or connected incorrectly, so check the wiring. There are many other alarms that could occur. Follow procedures in manuals when other alarms not covered here occur.